Technologist Dr. Naima and the team, senior officers from the polytechnics, members, uh, fellow speakers, panelists, members from the industries, members from the other polytechnic and community colleges, lecturers, students, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very pleasant, good morning. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here to share some of the ideas here. Hopefully all of us can go back and pick up one or two things for the betterment of our environment and the country. I will talk about what's new. What's new in the zero uh, emission vehicles up up to this morning when I say up to this morning uh, I woke up and look at my handphone there's a few things that Malaysia Kini said about energies about about uh, electrical vehicle yeah uh, hopefully I will be able to slot some of this latest news somewhere along this uh, short session that I have this morning. Okay, I will, I will uh, talk about what's new happening. I will talk a little bit about the uh, ZEV, the landscape. Then I'll talk about issues or I call it the excuses why they are not moving that that fast. And then uh, I'll talk about four new happenings. Why four? It's like we are going to the uh, football tournament. Lah. Four are the semi-finalists. Hopefully we, we get to see the semi-finalists and then we, we see whether they are, they are good for your for your research and for your your projects, yeah. Okay. In front of you is the chart. Do you wish this chart is the profit of a company, or your salaries, or something like that? It will, it will be very good, yeah, if this were the profit of a company or your your income and something like that, but. This one is the energy usage of our country. And pay attention to the, the pink color, pink color, yeah? or, or maroon, whatever you call it. That's the sector we are in. Everybody is every day chipping in into this pink color. That's the transport sector. So doctor just now talked about a commitment to reduce emission. If we look at this chart, energy chart is equivalent to the carbon we dispose to the environment and the greenhouse gases that we dispose. We can use this as the to correlate that, that thing, yeah, that bad things. So we are nowhere to reduce our energy consumption. So what, what are the issues? Three issues. Number one issue is the global warming. So we are nowhere to reduce our the bad thing that we dispose to the environment, number one. In fact, we are, we are increasing it. And number two is we know that as the fuel are heavily subsidized by the government, these three, four billions that government put in this fuel subsidy could have been used for your research, build hospitals, and do other things. But unfortunately, we have to burn these billions away to subsidize our fuel. That's an issue. Third issue is the energy security. When I said the latest news, this morning, Malaysia Kini 
our ministry, Minister of Economic Affairs said that whatever petroleum we have underneath is only good for the next 10 years. True or not, I'm not sure, lah. but that's, that's what it says in the thing. So we have an issue. So if these are all the issues that we have, to continue business as usual for the internal combustion engine is not an option. We need a solution. One possible solution is the zero emission vehicles. Shown in the slide are four types of EV. First is the battery EV. That is zero emission vehicle. Then we have the plug-in hybrid. Not a zero emission because there's still an internal combustion engine. And then we have hybrid EV, also not zero emission. And uh, on the fourth, on the right, we have the fuel cell EV, which is also a zero emission vehicle. And there's also many other zero emission vehicles like your bicycle, but that is not our discussion today. Lah. So the, our interest will be the battery EV and the fuel cell EV. But unfortunately, fuel cell EV uh, was not given a serious attention by, by our community. So because of that, we've talked about the battery EV more. Yeah? Okay. I know that Dr. Horizon is going to talk about surveys, survey that has been done about the EVs, but I'm, I'm not taking the thunder out of your presentation, hopefully. These are the excuses worldwide, given why zero emission vehicles are not really popular or not taken by, by, by a lot of people. Number one is range anxiety. Ever, ever drive a car that's a two digit, 90 kilometer to go, and then you are on the highway, where to go for fuel? Eh? Uh, this kind of feeling. Eh? Sometimes. Eh? So I drive a diesel car on a regulation speed. My car can go like 1200, 1300 kilometers. So for me, anything below 300 gives me a G3 already. And then a second excuse is refueling infra. It's not, not like our gas station to, to, to charge your car. There's a lot of places actually, but maybe one or two. So if everybody is using this kind of car, then where, how to, infra is not ready, not, not, not there yet. And then refueling time. How long we take to fill in our diesel or our petrol? Five minutes? Ten minutes maybe? And the fast charging now is taking like one and a half, two hours to go to 80% of the battery. And the normal charging takes six, eight hours. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah? So that's an issue. And then of course high prices. We know the car industry is very regulated. We got uh, duties, extra duties, import duties, uh, other tax, incentive and all the things. So the prices of car, the prices of batteries are very much dependent on the government policy. Uh, the fact that we are selling a lot of plug-in hybrid last year is because the government threw a lot of subsidy into those BMWs, those uh, Mercedes and all those, those uh, high-end Volvos getting very popular. And the, the fifth excuse is the battery wear. And if, if you follow the, this, this topic, I'm sure you would have come across a viral Mercedes battery costs 120,000 to replace. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure one or some of us might have, have uh, read this. And this morning in Malaysia, Kini, 
Mercedes said their battery is 50,000 to 65,000. Not 120, yeah. but still expensive. Yeah? Even though you buy a 300,000 car and say, hey, you got a lot of money, but 50,000 or 60,000 out of 300,000 car is, is a big sum. Even if you were to buy the 35,000 ringgit car, and if you were to change your battery for 5,000, that, that's a lot of money. So that's, that's a battery wear issue. And on the right, the five are, I should say, a lesser excuse. Uh. Cargo, cargo uh, okay. on the new design, a lot of batteries are put on the floor. On the floor, eh? not on the cargo. So there's no issue about the cargo. Lack of service center, we know that battery car are lesser component. Not as, as many as the, the ICE. Low performance is king of the past. I think the new car is as, as far or not even better than the petrol car. Accelerate because it doesn't need that acceleration is very fast. Eh? And lack of choice, yes, because this is uh, the rule of economy. Um, the price is high, so people can, can buy it. Eh? And the company also not be offering a lot of, of variation. And fire explosion, if you look closer at the, this is Tesla S3, yeah? burn, but maybe, uh, I did not go into detail, but maybe other issues, other car also explode, last, last week we got tanker ex burn and explode on the, nearby, somewhere, so that's, uh, I mean, it's equal issue, it's not, it's not because of your electrical vehicle. So if we talk about challenges and opportunities, these are where we look at. Challenges are your opportunities. So for, for uh, polytechnic, uh, other colleges, this is where you should be looking at uh, how to solve this problem, how to address this issue. So which take us to the four semi-finalists that I will present here. Yeah? Number one is the inductive wireless charging. For automotive, consider new. But for your handphone, I think it's already about arguably an affordable level already. You can charge your handphone wirelessly now. A lot of, of, uh, of uh, brands have, have this. But for cars, at least Nissan and BMW already have this. But there's issues. Issues with security, maybe somebody go and steal away all this, this inductive charger, and also about safety. There's a concern about magnetic field that's generated by this induction process. Maybe they have a long-term effect to the other component or to your, your own health. But this project is actually more for the autonomous vehicle to support the autonomous vehicle where, you, where the car can go and find its own charger. So it's more for that, but it's also applicable to the zero emission thing that we are talking about. And this is, could, it be, could this be the possible solution to all the range anxiety charging time? Uh, it's already proven that one battery can go 700 miles or about 1100 kilometer, as, as good as my diesel car. And it's being confirmed, it's only taking one minute to be charged. So the question is, how much does it cost? And how long can the battery last? So if you people can, we can find a solution for this, I think we hit the jackpot. So the challenge is for us to, to, to take advantage of this finding. Maybe you can dig more and, and dig your own goal. That's the second one. Third one is this also a miracle for me. Now we go to petrol station and pump the petrol or diesel to our tank. 
How about if one day we go to battery station and pour water in your battery and then it's good to go for another 700 kilometer? How about that? So that's something that... But this, this thing come from a university. Yeah? They, because of their pro research program, they have discovered this and now the issue is how to take this to a commercial level. So a challenge for the for the technologists here yeah, to to look into this. And the final four. There's, there's a talk about if all cars are using batteries and how many units of them in the flat, in the platform of the car. There will be tons of tons of batteries at the end of five, six, seven years. What to do with them? But worldwide, people are already in China, in Japan, Germany, Belgium, South Africa, Cameroon, Paris, Otto Santo Island. Heard this, this country before? <laughs> Amsterdam, Michigan. They are already on this, putting second life to this battery. So, at least good for another seven to ten years. So, all these things, or the four items that I share, uh, hopefully, will be some trigger of some idea for the for the technologies in the room, in the hall, to the industries. And that's bring me to my conclusion. ZEVs are here to stay. I think our doctor has said that matter of time, every country will start be putting a stop to the ICE. But we know this is a uh, sometimes uh, related to politics also. You know the effort to scrap the old vehicle, how long has that been discussed? And where, where is it now? Still tak jalan kan? So to completely ban the ICE is uh, another uphill battle that we should be... But anyway, my view is that although we are talking about zero emission vehicles, Hybrid and the plug-in hybrid, I believe, is the stepping stone. So let us not forget that we should be also looking at that aspect while while focusing uh, ourselves to the zero emission vehicle. So for the polytechnic, my suggestion is to polytechnic and uh, community colleges and other higher institutions to look at some ideas, prove them at the lab and then take it to the industry. Okay, I got this idea. How about we do join research and, and, and come up with something uh, by commercially viable. Don't wait for industry to come to you. So you, you, you do worldwide research and then I know you have limited budget, but everybody is, I believe, in limited budget in one way or the other. Let's find a way how to uh, prove some idea and bring it to the industry. And for the industries, do some serious R&D innovation and not just doing a project to get grants. I, I know during my time in the industry, that's one or two companies, their job is just to get grants. I don't know whether they seriously they want to develop the components and all those things. But the first idea is, hey, let, let's get the, the grant and we can uh, happily for the next two, three years. So that's not good. Lah. So let's do some serious work and help. Together we, we improve the environment and improve the countries. So that's, that's, that's all for me. And um, and with the phrase Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I would like to declare the focus group dialogue, zero emission vehicle, clean power opportunities and challenges, Sampana Carnival Science and Technology, Castec 2019 is officially open. Thank you very much.